Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Danny, and this is Danny's Beauty Corner. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. Either way, I'm always excited to have you guys here joining me. So today I have a little bit of a treat for you. I am not doing makeup or beauty whatsoever. Today is all about hair products. And if you wanna know why my hair is straight, then I say, just keep watching okay guys so today's video is a bit different it is not talking about my usual beauty products or even a haul about beauty products today is all about hair hence this is why my hair looks a little crazy so we're going to do two first impressions one are on these products and another one on this new flat iron okay so we'll get into this stuff first so this I had got from Curlbox. Now Curlbox is a non-subscription service that you can get anywhere. Sometimes they have $10 deals, but a lot of times they have, um, it's $20 plus $5 shipping and it's designed for curly hair. But in this case, this is not. This is designed for when you specifically put heat to your hair, like you blow dry it and you do a silk press or a flat, you know, you flat iron your hair. And this is from the brand Design Essentials. And like I said, this is designed specifically for when you straighten your hair or put heat to your hair. It is a four step process. They are labeled step one, step two, step three, step four. And so the first two, this one, the first one is the moisturizing hair bath, which is this. I did use this in the shower today, which is why my hair is wet and like this. And then I used the moisturizing and detangling conditioner. It is the agave and lavender. And on both the bottles, they say blow dry and silk press collection. Um, I did like this. I mean, it's just a traditional shampoo. My hair didn't feel like detangled or, but it wasn't like stripped, if that, you know, makes sense. And then the um, conditioner, it made my hair feel soft and, you know, it didn't detangle too well, but my hair isn't really hard to detangle in the first place, um, but I did like it. And so the next two steps are, well, the step three is the blow dry and styling primer. And this is for faster blow drying and heat guard. And I believe you have to shake this, which is why it looks kind of funny. And then the last one is the thermal protectant cream, which you put on after you blow dry your hair and before you, you know, start the straightening process. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to talk about is the plush iron or the plush smooth iron. Um, I've heard of this because of Instagram. I started following this woman named Lachey, aka the hair magician is what she calls herself. And she was running a special. This is normally $150 but I got it on sale last month for $100, which is still kind of expensive, but if you think of the, of the lines like Chi and um, Babyliss Pro, I mean, they're up there in the higher end, so. And I've seen, you know, the women's hair that she's done on Instagram, and it looks really nice, but she is a, a hairstylist, so of course she could do it better than anybody that's regular, you know, that's not a hairstylist. But anyway, so I've never taken it out the package yet. It's still in here, and this is how it comes, just like this. It says plush smooth on the front of it. And please excuse me, my face, my hair, guys. I just got out of the shower. I didn't put any makeup or anything on just yet. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It has a little bubble wrap on it. And then it's black and has plush smooth on the front of it. And it's in pink. And the plates are 100% cer ceramic, I believe. And they're red. And it feels so sleek. And I believe this is digital. Let me take the little sticker off and see, I believe the heat, the temperature will go right there. So you guys will see once I plug it in. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start blow drying my hair. I didn't actually put the step three or four in there yet. So we're going to do this one first. So let's see, the directions say to shake to activate. After using detangle and moisturizing condi uh, conditioner, distribute evenly through damp hair. Then blow dry with the blow dry brush to create a silky smooth blowout with lustrous shine. Give this bad boy a shake. Okay, so it did come together. So let's go ahead and spray this in my locks. And I'm not going to show you guys the complete blow dry process because everybody knows how blow drying works, right? Everybody's straightening their hair a time or two. Okay. Make 
sure that's all in there evenly. Okay. Okay guys, so the only reason I didn't want to speed through that process is because I wanted to see how long it would take to blow dry this one little section. And to be honest, it just, it took about the typical amount of time that it normally takes me to blow dry a section. So it doesn't really take too long to do it, but you know, I like it because it's a heat protecting a heat guard for when you put heat on your hair. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish straightening, I'm sorry, blow drying the rest of my hair and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I'm all done blow drying my hair. Yes, I still have my hair divided into four sections because that's just how I'm going to blow dry it. So let's get started on talking about the flat iron real quick. Now it is on, so I have to be very careful. And I have it set to 450 degrees. Again, this is how it looks. It says plush smooth iron on the front. See there is where the temperature goes. It heats up all the way to 450, which I probably do not need it that high, but that's just how I am. Um, it has a swivel down here, swivel cord, so it does not get tangled. Also, it has a locking mechanism, so whenever you want to store it down here, you switch that up and it stays closed and you can store it easier than leaving it open. Um, the settings are on the side right there. You've got the plus, the minus, that's the that's to um, turn the temperature up. That's the power button, and there is the button to lower the temperature. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have not put the fourth step in the Design Essentials um, products in, 
So this is the fourth step. It is the Agave and Lavender Thermal Protecting Cream. It is a moisture sealant and it silkens and it shines is what it says. Again, that's what the bottle looks like. It's just a white cream. And so let's go ahead and get it going. And it says to, after, um, after hair is blown dry with conditioning, blow drying, styling, primer, apply a pea-sized amount to dry hair or medium to coarse hair. Silk press or thermal style hair is desired. So I'm not taking all my hair out, so I'm just going to put just a little bit in there, like they said, a pea-sized. It's probably even less than that. And just rub it in my fingers and rub it throughout my hair. And then just kind of blow dry, or just combing it out to make sure it's evenly inside. Oh, looks like I forgot a piece to blow dry. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Put this back up. Now, I'll just take a teeny tiny section and I'm going to do the chase method when I blow dry, or when I straighten my hair. So we'll do one little pass first and then put the brush in there to chase it, to make sure it's straightened evenly. Hmm. Not bad for one and a half passes. And it curls pretty good too, I just didn't want to curl it. Okay, next. Take a little, and I use my finger to um, divide the hair. I don't really feel like using the comb. Okay, so I took a bigger section there. Wow, I missed a lot. And blow drying. Okay. So I'll we'll probably divide that piece up. Okay. Now. Okay, let's fix that piece back. Okay, then sometimes what I will do is take that smaller piece of hair that I straightened first. This feels really, really lightweight. Like, it makes me nervous, to be honest with you. But, you know, it's okay. Okay. And I usually curl the ends just because it gives a little bit more volume once you blow it out or once you brush it out. Now it does not tug on hair, so I do like that aspect of it. Okay. Next section. Move that back. Not, not bad. Not bad. Just a little movement. Okay, and see it here. I do it again. Take all the sections that I've done so far and just go over it one more time. Okay. Let's keep this going. And I probably won't show you guys all the sections of doing my hair because that'll just take way too long. And I just wanted you guys to see the initial process of it. Then 
do that little curl at the bottom. Well, we'll work on that. I mean, so far, it's not too bad. Does it feel like the hair magician did my hair? No. If we're being honest. Oh, you see that was a little struggle there trying to get to the hair with this little hair clippy in my way. Okay. So I'm almost done with my first section. Gonna pop up with two more sections. Or two more, yeah, two more pieces to go out of that section. Okay. Oops. There's that last piece thing. Let's go. Please excuse the little labby arms. section a little bit more. I didn't give it the attention it needed. So Okay, so I've got one section done. And I think I'm going to finish the rest off camera just so this video is not two hours long. And it's not gonna, I'm going over the top part of that section one more time because it just does not feel the way I want it to feel. Okay. Alright guys, so I think, like I said, I'm going to finish the rest of the sections off camera and then I'm also going to do my face because, yeah, I'm not trying to scare anyone and um, I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and I did put a little bit of makeup on. I don't have foundation or anything on. I just put on a very light look. Um, but anyway, um, so here is the completed look. I'm all done flat ironing my hair. And um, now let's give that review. Okay, so on a scale of one to 10, cause you know that's how I rate my products or whatever it is I'm reviewing. On a scale of one to 10, I give it about a, let's give it a seven. And to be honest, it's being a little bit generous. And I only say that because to me, I was really excited about this flat iron, mainly because of um, it's coming from a hair beautician. Now, it could be me. It, it does not perform like something way over the top. Am I blown away by it? No. Do I like it? It's fine. It works just like my 
20 other flat irons that are sitting in one of my drawers right now. Um, like I said, this does retail for 150 bucks, and I did check the website today. It still says it's on sale for $100. And I wanted to give it a shot because she pops up on my Instagram all the time. I am following her. And she does a really good job. But um, when she when she posts videos of, of her clients, their hair looks absolutely amazing. Um, I did try a technique that I keep seeing her do, which is using the flat iron and curling it underneath, which is how um, it got the little silky effect, which my hair does not look silky. The light is not not in my favor now my hair did frizz up my hair does that a lot um it's like if you if you guys have a chi which i personally do not like chi and i have used that before i mean and that's that's a little bit less expensive than this flat iron it's it's okay it's nothing to write home about i'm not blown away it's just a traditional flat iron to me now, I do like the fact that it is digital and you can see right there. And it does turn off after, I believe it said an hour of use, or of non-use. It'll turn off by itself, which it did do. I um, had this off within an hour. And um, I like the fact, like I said, that it's digital and you can see the temperature right there. And the fact that it's a swivel cord so it does not ever tangle and it's easy storage. But is that worth 150 bucks? No. If you guys are in the market for another flat iron or a flat iron in general and you don't want a chi and you want something that's brought to you that's used by a hair beautician and you want to spend the hundred dollars that it's currently on sale for right now then go out and get it but if you have many other flat irons like me and you know how to use them and they all give you the same end result then I recommend you not getting it um, now she is like I said she is a hair magician a hair beautician and I believe she is located in Virginia I'm not really for sure um, but I mean I've seen her posts and reviews people are raving on her her hair salon and uh, good quality hair you know styles does not come cheap it does come at a cost but if you want the hair magician at home um, I can pretty much bet my bank account on it that you will not get the same results unless you're a hair you know a hairstylist a professional hairstylist and you know what to do then you know please work your mag magic and get full because this is my personal opinion on my hair um it it is soft which my hair is naturally soft anyway when i when i straighten it it does frizz up when it's you know hot or humid and in my house i'm in my house and it's i've got the ac on so it's not that bad but I'm not I'm not impressed I'm sorry I'm just giving you my full honest opinion but um, with that being said I will leave where you can grab her flat iron if you do want to get it I will leave her link down below um, but yeah I'm sorry guys I'm just not impressed it's just a regular standard flat iron if you want to spend the money get it if you want to get something that's similar quality get this or get a Babyliss Pro um, my favorite is the Coriolis, I think that's how you say it, where you can pick them up in the stands in the mall. Um, those are really good. I've got a few of those, and those are really good. And, I mean, but this isn't this isn't bad. I'm not trying to knock it, but I'm just saying, if you don't have the money to fully invest in a, a straighter flat iron, if you have something at home, just use that until you can afford something like this or something like the Babylon Pro. Um, but that's that review. Now, the review on these design natural products that I use for my hair um, that is specifically designed for you blow drying your hair or doing a soap press I rate this probably about the same I give it a seven or so I like it because it's designed for when you do your hair you put heat to your hair I like that it has heat protection the whole line is designed just for that so if you're a curly girl just wanting to do like a wash and go kind of a thing, I would not use this. But if you are trying to flat iron your hair, just put heat to your hair in general, then I would. Um, I don't think you can get this anymore, not at least on Curlbox website because this was like a one-time kind of a thing and once they sell out, you don't get it anymore. So that was that. They might have a website, I'm not sure, but I mean, feel free to look on Instagram and see if you can find them. But yeah, guys, that's my review.
please don't hate me. I was trying to do something different. I wanted to do like a first impression video. I was dying to try this flat iron that I bought almost two months ago. Um, and I wanted to, like I said, give you something besides makeup. So I wanted to do my hair and, you know, see what it looks like on camera and just give you guys my full honest opinion and my first, my first review on all these products. But yeah, guys, that completes this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell down below once you are subscribed so you never miss when I upload a video. And yeah, I think that's it, guys. So until next time, love you guys. Bye.